In this demonstration, you are logged on locally with a user account that has administrative privileges. In exercise 1, you configure the quota management settings for Drive C to limit the data that users may store on the volume. You then configure custom quota settings for a user account. Click Start, right-click My Computer, and then click Explore. Windows XP Professional starts Windows Explorer. Right-click the Drive C icon, and then click Properties. The Local Disk C Properties dialog box is displayed, and the General tab is active. Click the Quota tab. Disk quotas are disabled by default. In the Quota tab, select the Enable Quota Management checkbox. By default, the Do Not Limit Disk Usage option is selected. Click Limit Disk Usage 2. The default disk space limit for new users is 1 kilobyte. To place the same quota limit on all users of this computer, you would use the Limit Disk Usage 2 option. Click Do Not Limit Disk Usage. You are not imposing the same quota limit on all users. Select Deny Disk Space to users exceeding quota limit. Select Log Event when a user exceeds their quota limit. Select Log Event when a user exceeds their warning limit. Click Apply. The Disk Quota dialog box informs you that you should enable the quota system only if you are going to use quotas on this disk volume and warning you that the volume will be rescanned to update disk usage statistics if you enable quotas. Click OK to enable disk quotas. You are now going to configure quota management settings for a user. In the Quota tab of the Local Disk Properties dialog box, click Quota Entries. Windows XP Professional displays the quota entries for Local Disk C window. The user accounts listed are those that have logged on and gained access to Drive C. On the Quota menu, click New Quota Entry. Windows XP Professional displays the Select Users dialog box. You are now going to configure quota management settings for a user 5. So in the name text box, type user 5 and then click OK. Windows XP Professional displays the Add New Quota Entry dialog box. By default, Do Not Limit Disk Usage is selected. Click Limit Disk Space 2. The default settings limit the disk space that user 5 can use to 1 kilobyte. The default settings also set the warning level for disk usage at 1 kilobyte. Increase the amount of data that the user can store on Drive C by changing the Limit Disk Space 2 setting to 10 megabytes, and the Set the Warning Level 2 setting to 6 megabytes. Click OK to return to the Quota Entries for Local Disk C dialog box. User 5 has been added to the list. Close the Quota Entries for Local Disk C dialog box. Click OK to close the Local Disk C Properties dialog box. You have just set a quota limit for user 5. To test the quota limit, you must log off and then log on as user 5. In the next portion of this demonstration, you are logged on as user 5. Start Windows Explorer. Create new folder on Drive C and name it User 5. Ensure that the CD-ROM you use to install Windows XP Professional is in your CD-ROM drive. Copy the i386 folder from your CD-ROM to the User 5 folder. Windows XP Professional begins copying files from the i386 folder on the CD-ROM to a new i386 folder in the User 5 folder on Drive C. After copying several files, Windows XP Professional displays the Error Copying File or Folder dialog box, indicating that there is not enough room on the disk. User 5 has exceeded the quota limit. When the quota limit is exceeded, User 5 can't use any more disk space. Click OK to close the dialog box. Right-click the User 5 folder and then click Properties. The size on disk value is about half of the quota limit of 10 megabytes. The other 5 megabytes is used by your logon profile. Close all open windows. This completes Exercise 1. In Exercise 2, you disable quota management settings for Drive C. You are logged on with a user account that is a member of the administrator's group. 
Start Windows Explorer. Delete the User 5 folder. Right-click the Drive C icon, and then click Properties. The Local Disk C Properties dialog box is displayed, and the General tab is active. Click the Quota tab. In the Quota tab, clear the Enable Quota Management checkbox. Notice that all quota settings for Drive C are no longer available. Click Apply. The Disk Quota window appears, warning you that if you disable quotas, the volume will be rescanned if you enable them later. Click OK to close the Disk Quota window. Click OK to close the Local Disk C Properties dialog box. Close all applications. This completes this demonstration.